Actually, you know what, Charles, do you want to get on? Mm. Let me get a break for a minute. Yo, all right. Yeah, because we we, we, we have we have done commentary. Let me, let me <laughs> get Korean. Yeah, no, Vance, like like at some point, but like it's been every tournament. So yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> it's been every time. At least, at least at least people know our dedication, right? Like we're going to every local just to go like get our commentary. Yeah, no, 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 dog. Every time. Yeah. Every single time, man. I'm gonna stay on here until uh, Korean comes over. Yeah, no, here he comes. Here comes the boy. Yeah, the, the man, the man, the man of the hour he came back from Gamo a while back. Dude, let's go. Gamo was amazing. Yeah. I'm sure the Korean was helping them hold it down. Well, here's Elegant pulling out the Luigi. I'm going to need Korean to tell me all about uh, Nitro because, uh, look, I'm quite familiar with Elegant. I got to be real, Vance. But, best, uh, best Richter in SoCal, PR, currently, I believe, top, top like, bottom 15. Okay, okay, gotcha. So Nitro has a has a rapport. He has he has a uh, he has a presentation uh, to bring to the people. This seems like uh, a, a kind of matchup where Richter is actually somewhat allowed to play the game because Luigi's one of the few characters that uh, you know kind of doesn't have that speed or the ability to chase him down the way that other characters do. Oh yeah, this, char this matchup is booty. Luigi. Really straight, straight booty. Is that is that mostly because of like edge game or just the inability to hunt him down when the, once the projectiles are out? Or I mean, Luigi is just a character that like really suffers versus projectile characters. I mean, it's definitely still winnable, but for Luigi to get in on a Richter, huh. like they they mess up pretty hard. Yeah, elegant, elegant, showing us how it is winnable by doing just that. He gets one opening and then he takes that all the way until he gets the kill, which is kind of Luigi's design in this game. Love it or hate it, that's the reality. Right, right, but it's just. It's really hard to somewhat like get that grab because of the tether. You can't really play out of shield. Good SDI up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that tilt punish on that air dodge. Yeah, not a lot of not a lot of people really know if they're playing Richter how to how to follow up after people get out of the holy water. But you know, Nitro obviously has that experience. You know, being PR'd here in California, that is that is something that he's got the experience for. And a lot of people actually. Um, very excited to see uh, Riddles. Riddles probably at the, at the moment. Like I don't really see anyone contesting it, but Riddles probably the best Belmont player in the world. Um, got top 16 at get on my level. With, oh really? Yeah, with Richter. Um, that's amazing. Yes, and he's just the one thing I think that sets him apart from everyone else is one is ledge trapping is amazing, and like this dude's fast. Riddles is so fast with angled down uh, back airs and forward airs. <laughs> you would almost think so, but no, Rage is still enough of a factor that he's not. I've definitely seen Luigi kill with that move, like sub. Oh my goodness! You don't even you don't even need anything big and flashy like the super jump punch. Just knock him. <laughs> yeah, and the plunger definitely a move that you can clank with with another hitbox. So Nitro could opt to go for the up B there instead, but uh, it's going to be a pretty good tool for Elegant to like just set a lingering hitbox, send it straight down, and. If the Richter or Simon is not ready for it, then and they just tether to it like ill-advised, it's going to be a stock. Yeah, I mean, that seems like just a lot of people will do like a drop zone narrow to put a hitbox out, but Luigi has that rare ability to just do that without any risk of putting himself off stage and getting given to himself. Right, because Luigi actually in this game with a pretty bad recovery, one of the worst air mobilities in the game, so he doesn't have really good air drift, and he does not really rise off of that downbeat no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, none. I mean, at, at best, you'll, you'll stick at the same height, but it is a it is a non-factor for his recovery at this point. Yeah, we see Nitro right there doing some of these uh, angled down aerials, but you can't really go towards Luigi. You got to... Try to retreat. I mean, at a certain point, you can't retreat no more because you know you're gonna get to the end of the stage. Mm -hmm. Right now, Nitro doing a lot better job, and you gotta go off stage and punish those directional air dodge right there. It looks like, oh wow, it's not even gonna make it back. Yeah, no, didn't have a jump. I'm pretty sure Nitro wanted to angle down his forward air. It went straight forward to get that directional air dodge, but yeah, Simon and Richter. I mean, any character in the cast can really edge guard both these characters. Both these characters probably known for having a. Uh, pretty up there in terms of like bad recoveries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, especially exploitable, you know, you're able to figure out what they're gonna do. That was a nice conversion right there from Nitro. I know that like at some percents that kind of just becomes bread and butter and it stopped being impressive, but it's still flashy. Oh yeah, down air conversion, yeah. I mean, for the most part, at most percents, you usually get like some kind of aerial or up B out of the, uh, the down air. Yeah, got, got a pretty decent amount of hits done. 
Boy, Belmont off stage. I'm amazed that he's been able to make that back. I mean, so far from what I've seen from Nitro and what I know just about past history about Elegant, like recoveries for these two, the characters, like you said, really bad, but the people make them look almost viable. Oh, I mean, they're just really good at mixing it up. But mm -hmm. essentially, just like their options compared to like other top tiers, like Pikachu or you know, just all the other characters with really, really good recoveries. Even like Fox Wolf have like really good recoveries when compared to these characters. Yeah, I mean, because even though they may be telegraphed again, you still have so much distance to cover. You can still mix it up. Elegant not mixing up those combos though. It's what this character is known for, and as long as he can continue to execute, he has the ability to get Nitro off stage. It is angled up on the back air. Setting up shop here, Nitro. Not going to get the, the holy water by the ledge here, but these forward tilts are cool. so much shield pressure. And yeah, not giving Elegant a single chance to approach. Once the forward tilts were done and he had no more distance to get out of that, the retreating fair did the job nicely. Oh, that was back air on the platter there, but the down throw into the down B with the correct DI should be fine here. And I actually am very curious to why Nitro went this stage, because with those slants on the edge, you can't really set up holy water. Yeah, and yeah right there. I was, I was going to ask you, is that, I mean, it's interesting to see him go here, and I was wondering if that was due to angling the aerials, and maybe he gets a little bit of extra distance out of that. Oh, my gosh, that was... <laughs> that was that was something that I, I, I wouldn't expect uh, anybody to go for, the aerial super jump punch. Oh, yeah, I mean, um, Elegant has combos and setups into the aerial super jump punch. You can get it off down throw, and even some combo setups just like that. Just barely running away from that. Plunger, and I mean, that's where again, we can get so much of his damage. The intangibility coming mm -hmm. through on that down B, though, so yeah, cool. helping him out. But then that cross came back and gave Nitro a nice little combo. There oh, he, he can't set it up on the ledge. Yeah, Color yeah. me surprised. Yeah, well, I mean, it didn't hit the ledge right there, it actually hit Elegant, and oh, he had okay. to jump to do it. Uh, so, right there, just really good. And Elegant didn't really have anywhere to go because he got hit out of his double jump going there. Um, if he SDI'd up, he was still gonna get hit by the F smash. He's floaty, so he only really has. To, like the only way he can go is SDIing up. Can't really SDI down as an option there. So mm -hmm. really clutch, clutch a uh, holy water coming out from Nitro. Yeah, and that and that that was executed. That you know even if Elegant was able to grab the ledge, if that was detonated right there, uh, he wouldn't be able to choose anything to jump over it and get into a good position on stage because he's got so much more stage to actually go over because of the slam. So, I mean, it just as long as that Holy Water gets placed, yeah, that seems very powerful on that stage. It's just a matter of, like you said, he had to hit Elegant to detonate. Interesting counterfeit coming out here from Elegant. Uh, Smashville, a stage where it's probably the most important stage in terms of center stage control because of where the platform is positioned. You can't do falling aerials above a platform and go through it. You have to wait to do your aerial. You have to go through the platform. So, really, any projectile character can set up camp right in the center stage, and it can be very, very difficult to approach them. Yeah, it can definitely halt your approach entirely, and of course, that can go the other way around as well. If you don't have control of center stage and you have a lot of projectiles, if your opponent's not giving you a reason to run away to the corner, you can try to push them out of there with projectiles of your own, and boy, if Belmont doesn't have a lot of those. Yeah, very prevalent set of characters. Definitely um, one of the strongest setup characters, but overall just like, it's, it's like a glass cannon. I, I like to call this character like a Little Mac, but a projectile Little Mac. Yes. You have really bad recovery, but your projectile game is absolutely insane. Ooh. While a, a tip or F smash would have broken shield, that is a setup. The uh, the axe does really, really good shield damage, pretty much about half. I mean, yeah, two, two of them will pretty much break shield so long as your opponent continues holding it. They're not yeah. safe from them. Well, yeah, we, we saw Riddles too. Um, he has a setup with the, uh, the axe. He'll, He'll throw Axe, and if he feels like they're going to shield, he'll go, he'll space the tipper down smash, and it's all the shield break. Cool. It yeah, is a very good setup. It's, it's very reminiscent of, of Little Mac, you know, just getting these setups at the ledge. Once you're there, you've got to be very, you got to tiptoe your way back onto the stage. Be so careful. I like that reversal right there. In case Elegant tried to do something to go off stage to drop zone and would have covered himself with the uh, with the upbeat. Yeah, you missed the uh, the first forward air tether. You have to make sure you angle those uh, aerials to tether the stage at different angles, of course. Um, but right now, Nitro sitting at 160%. Wow, barely oh. making it back. And you know what? If that if that was a, a Zare tether recovery, he would have had no chance to grab the ledge because he was out of that double jump. But being Belmont, he had that unique opportunity to be able to you know, excuse that and say, I'm back. Yeah, exactly. But Elegant going to clean it up nonetheless. But and it, that's when Belmonts get scary, when they get stock mileage. You know, when they're living, 
over 150 percent that's when it can get really hard mm -hmm. yeah i mean they're just getting so much value the big the big disadvantage to this character is that they don't get a lot of value out of their stocks they don't get to live so long and if you fail to take advantage of that then there's not a whole lot of disadvantages left it's kind of like if you're playing little mac without any platforms exactly oh jumping right over the fireballs nitro using the axe to force elegant off the ledge and um, mo most of the uh, Belmont ledge trapping is strong because of the holy water, but if your region is like pretty well versed in the matchup, they shouldn't be normal get upping into holy water. It's, yeah. like, uh, it's like a almost like a basic thing not to do against a Belmont player. So then Belmont start using the axe to get you off the ledge because it does fall through the stage. So with a combination of like mix ups of axe and holy water, the uh, ledge trapping can be so strong from Belmont. I'm, I'm honestly afraid of the axe so much because, I mean, it's transcendental, right? Like, it just goes through pretty much anything so long as it's not a uh, another physical projectile. Right, right. You you can, like, uh, hit it. It's kind of like Nikita where you can, like, throw out a hitbox and challenge it. Okay, interesting. But you do have to be within that percent range to challenge it as well. Boy, there, but speaking of challenging, uh, it's, like, really, really hard to challenge that forward tilt. Not a lot of end lag, a lot of power. Oh, my goodness. Yep, no dash up. attacks, please. Yep, the up B out of shield. In this game, now you can be reverse the up B out of shield. In the previous iteration, you could not do that. So that was a nice little change to Luigi. He has a little bit more answers for cross-ups out of shield, like we just saw there. Yeah, I mean, and, and it's the cross-up that's kind of a testament to the fact that Elegant has played so much of this game and that he is that, that top talent mind, right? Where a lot of people early on in this game, they're getting mixed up by comparing it to Smash 4, where, oh, I can't believe that crossed me up or didn't cross me up. But Elegant has been experimenting with so many characters to figure out what he can and can't super jump punch out of shield. Yeah, exactly. Just really, really good stuff, and it's a very powerful out of shield option as well. <laughs> so strong. Being able to clean out these stocks, but a dead even game here. Last stock apiece for both players. Game number three here. See who is going to be able to clutch this one out. Elegant back on the ledge here against this holy wow. water, and it can't stay there for too long. The tipper forward smash is going to seal it out here for Nitro. Yeah, Elegant was just kind of respecting the uh, the holy water a little bit too much. You know, you can stick on ledge, but as long as he detonates that just a little bit late and catches you kind of scared and respecting it for too long,